You know what's interesting about Walmart? It's the fact that it has the name Walls in it. Like, like they're trying to keep you locked within the walls of the prison. Just like the churches are made of stone and brick and mortar and concrete. Buildings keep you, keep the spirit from ascending. So yeah, that's why we need to go outside and not be inside all the time. The masons want to keep you locked within the masonry, locked within the walls, you know. Has to break the walls down, like, <laughs> like the walls of Jericho. You know, like the song, uh, Chris Jericho's theme song. <sighs> Gonna break down the walls of the masonry. Uh, yeah, they just want to keep you a slave. They want to keep you locked inside, in a inside of a cubicle and a, a shitty job inside of a warehouse. Locked within the walls of the masonry. The brick, the concrete, the stone. The buildings are low vibrational. So that's just my insight on that. To ascend, you really have to get outside the building. Get outside of the building. Uh, the church is not a building, but it's the body of Christ. It's a, it's God Himself. He's the temple. He said, "I am the temple." That's what He said in the Bible. That He's the temple. Jesus is the temple, not the temple of Solomon. Jesus was not a builder, but He's the one who destroys the masonry. That's what these Freemasons need to understand. Jesus is the destroyer of your temples and your masonry. He breaks the walls down of Jericho. He breaks the walls down. He's the, the breaker, the code breaker, like that. You know, he breaks the code. He's the hacker. Uh, he's the breaker of the matrix. So yeah, he's not a Jesus wasn't a Freemason. He was the complete opposite of what a Freemason is. So Walmart, they want to keep you locked inside their walls, keep shopping in their stores within this square. You know, like the square and the compass. They want to keep you locked within the rectangle, the square, the four sides. While the ones in the triangle control the ones locked inside the masonry of the squares so three controls four three wants to control four those who are in four have to break out of four and basically break the code have to ascend out of the, the masonry the way you do that is you Live through Jesus Christ, you know, live for Christ. Be a Christian. But just realize that the temple of Christ is not the temple of Jesus Christ is him is Jesus himself. It is not any church you will go to or any synagogue or any mosque. Just some So that's, that's what they want. They want to keep you locked within these four-sided rooms. The, the, the masters of three want to keep the slaves in four. So you have the square and the compass. The compass and the square. The compass wants to control the square. We are, we are not the square, but they want to try to put us in the square.
So I hope this video helped kind of shed some insight on things. And it will help you understand why they want you to work all the time, why they want to keep you locked in walls, why they want you to be a slave. They always want you to be in a warehouse. They want you to be in a inside all the time. Why they always want kids in schools all the time, locked within these schools. They want to keep four within four. They want to keep the square contained. To be a master, Jesus has given you the keys. He's the key to unlock the building, to unlock the, the square, to break the matrix and the code, the dichotomy of three and four. So I think that's really what it all boils down to is they want to be make us Keep us locked in walls, keep us in a low vibration, disconnected from the earth, disconnected from outside. That's why every time you go outside, they start up their noise campaigns. They start, they start gang stalking you outside, flying around to keep you in the four, to keep you back and make you go back inside.